Okay, we're going to do a kind of a really fun, cool technique here. And it's something that uh, I haven't really used it much commercially, but I really have a good time with it. It's kind of fun. Students really like it. Um, can you use it commercially? Yeah, you really can. What it is, is you put down marker first in grays, or you can use color. Then you put down your colored pencil. And then you go over the colored pencil with marker, and it melts the wax and turns the colored pencil into pigment. Then you can put down more colored pencil, more marker, more colored pencil, more marker. Okay? So let's uh, take a look at what we're going to need to do this technique. Okay, this seems to be a good marker set, and um, they're called the Touch. And uh, they're nice. I like them. Um, I'm a big fan of the Copics, but I think this is going to be a serious contender. And uh, they're excellent. They work really well. Nice, uh, gray, nice shades of gray. And uh, they're very close together, which we're definitely going to need. Let's take a look at our pencils. Okay, these are polychrome in a Derwin box, but they are definitely polychrome. A lot of different shades that we get to work with. Very, very important. It's a lot like the pastels, where we need to have different shades of our tones that we get to work with here. Okay, so see how that works? And then we have some more down here. So a lot of pencils. This is going to be your investment right here. These are expensive. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is lay down our our values. Okay, here we go. This is the lightest one that I have. This is for her face. Now in this case we're going to be thinking like the watercolor demo. See that? It <laughs> looks just like her, doesn't it? Okay, the neck. Okay, that's our local value. Now we'll go, this was the 0.5, which we're going to be using a lot. We're going to go to the 1, give her some cheeks. Ta da! Work in some shadow areas here, a little bit there. I don't think you guys can see it. Let's go a little closer. Okay, so these are going to be our tools. We've got some flesh tones here. We got a dark. Probably go for a cool. Also, I'm going to use a, the green because she's got blue eyes. So I'm going to use the green and a blue. That'd be cool. So we got kind of a palette happening here, and then I've got my uh, marker to push back. So let's go close. Let's get to work. Okay, so here's the technique. We've got our pencil. What we're going to do, I'm going to put a little turning plane here. And just start mapping in these pencils areas. Following the rhythms. Maybe into the eye here a little bit. Under the eye here. Just pretend like you're painting. A little shadow over there. Because what we're going to do after is we're going to push it back with the, uh, the marker. Okay, so you got that shape there. Into the brow. Okay, 
Okay, see that? Turn in these planes. They become a little green. And blue in the eyes. Okay, then we take our marker. Okay, watch. You can put these guys together like that. See, it melts the wax. See how the marker just melts the wax and turns it into pigment. Now one of the things you can do is you could take the marker, run it over this blue area, and then it'll be on your marker, the blue, and you can use it as kind of a paint. Okay, let's move down the cheek a little bit. Okay, see that? Then you take the next tone here, a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. It's kind of hard because you're you're playing with something that uh, shouldn't be played with. <laughs> you know, uh, you're kind of like the fine pencil and marker, but I enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. We'll see you soon.